Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the June 24th edition of the Lock in Your Success Trade and Market Updates. If you recall, last week we had a uh, we had this uh, topping pattern here that uh, had a, uh, when it confirmed set a price target down here at the 725 area. The market came down to the 725 area. Now it's putting in a bottoming pattern, and this little head and shoulders bottoming pattern, uh, at least on the short term charts, is a bullish indicator that we're probably going to reverse to the upside. And uh, I was telling you that I was bullish at that point, at least from a short term uh, chart basis. You know, a lot of times we have to go out and take a look at the longer term charts, and we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Um, We'll do that in a few minutes. So we have our head and shoulders reversal, and I was saying, you know, if this thing breaks out, that would be considered bullish with any kind of volume, especially if if it confirms on the other indices. Uh, however, you know, we need to keep in mind that our longer term, we do have a, you know, a longer term kind of stronger resistance area here, and there was a danger of it reversing. So we said I was bullish as far as a breakout happening and then from there we'd have to see what happens because if, if the pattern had failed I would uh, change my opinion and become a little bit more bearish. So what we had last week at least in the Russell and this pretty much uh, mirrored the rest of the indices is we had our breakout of our head and shoulders pattern with this larger up day uh, and then that pattern failed. So what this means to me, at least on the shorter term charts, is that uh, you know I've kind of changed from uh, bullish to more bearish because you know any kind of a of a pattern failure like this is generally considered bearish. Technically, this wouldn't be considered a total failure until it breaks under the 750 because this could just be possibly another part of the, uh, you know, if you look at a longer term chart, you can say this is the shoulder, this whole piece is the head, and now we're actually setting up for the second shoulder now, and then it's going to break higher. Um, you know, so that argument can be made with some technicians. You see, we all read the charts a little bit differently, so uh, that could certainly be made. So, um, you know, with this breakdown, we'll have to see where the market goes. So now, you know, we're more of a, a bearish or neutral type of a stance here as far as I'm concerned and we get a break of the 750 level that would be very bearish I'd be looking for a target down here at the uh, you know around 710 and then possibly even a breakdown a little bit lower than that so that's what we have here in the Russell but uh, as I said we always need to look at the longer term charts so you know let's take a look at the five year it can be argued again Technical analysis is different for everybody. Some people would would come in, you know, somewhere like this, come a little bit closer to our um, to our bodies of our candles, and you can say that we're already at support here. And longer term, this is bullish. Uh, that argument can certainly be made. A lot of times, when you see this happen, you get a sideways market uh, from a longer term perspective. So we're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, in my opinion, like I said. The way the shorter term charts are are setting up, I am bearish for the week. I'd expect the markets to be down. Um, longer term perspective, I do agree that it's bullish. I do agree the longer term perspective is bullish, but uh, I, I I just have a feeling it's going to break down. So, you know, if you go ahead on the SPX, we have the same thing, right? The exact same thing. We got the, on our, this is our weekly chart. If you use the bodies of these candles, we pretty much tagged the uh, support level and bounced. Again, I think this is setting up for a move lower. I do not think these support levels are going to hold. I think they're going to break uh, to the downside. NDX, same type of thing. Uh, this one is nice. This is a real, real nice setup pattern, actually. Uh, here, again, a nice bounce off the um, off of our support levels and the Dow is the same type of thing. We get a nice uh, bounce off of the support level. Uh, despite the fact the long-term charts are bullish, um, I am looking at my shorter-term charts and I'm seeing the bearishness in this. 
I think we're I, I I don't think these are going to hold. I think we're actually going to be coming down a little bit. But we'll see what happens. We'll see how the week goes, and we'll go from there. Okay, let's take a look at our positions. Here we have our M3 position for July expiration. Uh, we are currently sitting here. Remember last week, we were up outside the tent here. We had a nice little pullback. With that pullback, and I talk about this all the time, uh, you know, when you pull back into your butterflies or the market stops, the value really comes into these. If you remember, we were only up like a couple hundred dollars up here. That was the day after we had a fairly large up move, I believe. And you know what tends to happen to the butterflies when you get a fairly large up move is the value tends to be sucked out of these. And as soon as the market settles in, the money comes back in the trade. And that's kind of what we have here. So we're looking at um, this being up $1,600. We are still from our far from our profit target of 3,500, but uh, you know if uh, the market settles back into this range and holds 750, I shouldn't really have to do anything here. I didn't have to do anything last week. Uh, if it starts pulling too far under 750, these 750s are going to end up being rolled back. And of course, if we hang here or the market starts to creep up on us, we are going to be looking at adding some verticals in here to help flatten off our upside. But uh, but for now, everything looks uh, really good and I'm just uh, very happy with the position. Let's uh, take a look at the bearish butterfly for July. And this hasn't required any adjustments either. So we just put the thing on at 750 and we've just been kind of sitting here as the market's been swinging back and forth on us. Um, you know, last week we weren't up a heck of a lot of money. Now we pulled back uh, into the butterfly a little bit, and you know we're looking up about 489. There's really not a whole lot to do here until we start running into a delta theta relationship problem, which we have not done. We get another bounce up. There's a possibility we may run into that, and we'll you know maybe roll us up a little bit. As I said, I think we're probably going to be down. So if we're down, then uh, how many days from expiration are we here? We are 26 days. If we're if we don't move up, the end of the week, end of the week, we'll be taking this off at uh, our low end profit target. So whether we move down or if we stay the same, if we move up, then uh, you know then we'll be looking at maybe doing some sort of an adjustment or something. But, uh, you know, this looks good as well. Also, worthy of note, this is our July bearish butterfly. I did enter my August bearish butterfly on schedule uh, on Friday. I entered a 800-750-700 butterfly, and I paid a lot of money for it relative to what I thought I should be paying with the market volatility up like this. It was $11.00. Uh, you know, prices were high. Prices were high, and you know, part of the reason is 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 because of this pullback here. The um, you know, the optimal day to get in this, and the day I actually get in uh, some of my live uh, bigger positions here, was the day of this breakout. And if you remember, or if you were trading these, butterfly prices kind of collapsed out on us when we broke out of our pattern, which tends to happen, like we talked about earlier. When that did happen, I went ahead and I and I got in my uh, my other positions, as you know, closer to like nine dollars. So that's two hundred dollars it cost me by waiting, waiting here. But you know, that's like I said, this is a guidelines trade, and we're doing it straight from the bearish butterfly guidelines. So, uh, and they still work out well that way most of the time. So so here we, we're sitting here. Yeah, this looks fine, and those are the trades that we have on for now. Uh, just uh, a couple of notes. Uh, I think SMB on uh, the Options Tribe is going to be announcing its uh, a new web page just specifically for the Options Tribe people. So if you're interested in seeing some great option strategies from uh, a lot of uh, good options presenters, then you know take a look at the Options Tribe. They have a lot of uh, neat stuff. That's Tuesday nights at 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I will provide a link to their blog uh, in the description in the video on YouTube, and I will transfer that over to... Um, website at locking your success as well all right i think that's about everything we need to talk about again 
You know, our longer-term charts are bullish. Our shorter-term charts are bearish. Usually I go with the longer-term charts. This is one of those rare times that um, it looks like the market just wants to break down. So, uh, and I'm going to say, in my opinion, we're going down. We'll see what happens. I'm not, uh, you know, if, if you put that on a scale to 1 to 10, I'd say it's about a 7 we're going down. So we will see what happens this week, and, uh, you know, we'll reassess next week when uh, we see, see the results. Thank you, and have a great night.